You can create a custom LUT from any effects chain in your project. We'll use event level effects for this tutorial, but the procedure works exactly the same for track level, media level, and video bus level effects. You can also create a LUT from the color grading panel, and we'll discuss that procedure separately toward the end of this video. It's important to note that each of these chains operates in isolation when you create a LUT. This means that, for example, if you have track effects and event effects altering your video image, and you choose to create the LUT from the events effects chain, the LUT will only include the filters applied to the event. It will not incorporate the filters applied at the track level in this case. To create a custom LUT, first add an event to a new project. Click the Video Effects tab to bring that window forward. We'll keep the effect chain and changes we make simple so it's easy to see, but your chain and adjustments can be as complex as you need them to be. Drag the default presets from each of the color curves, color balance, and vignette plugins to your event. All three of these plugins are now part of your effects chain, but it's important to note that the vignette plugin is not a valid plugin for saving to a LUT. We've included it here in order to demonstrate later how to bypass it in order to create a proper LUT. As you're preparing to export your LUT, keep in mind that a proper LUT can contain only plugins and filters that adjust things related to color, such as hue, saturation, levels, and so on. A LUT cannot properly reproduce filters or effects that distort the image in some way, such as masking, blurs, shading, like the vignette plugin, pixelization, and so on. You have to be highly aware of the plugins you allow to pass through the LUT export process. If you allow any of these non supported plugins, the resulting LUT will be unpredictable and very unlikely to represent what you think it will. Click the Color Balance button in the effects chain and raise the green slider to around 0.20. Click the Color Curves button and choose the Increase Contrast preset from the preset drop-down list. Of course, you can make whatever adjustments you'd like to make, but these settings give a high contrast green tinted look to your video, which will be easy to see later when we review our new LUT. Now we're almost ready to create our custom LUT, but remember, not all filters and plugins make sense for a LUT. In this case, we've added two color-related filters, but we've also added the vignette filter. The vignette does not make logical sense in a LUT since it distorts the image by adding shading. So in this case, before we create the LUT, deselect the vignette checkbox to temporarily remove that plugin from the chain. Now the chain includes only color-related filters in an active state, and we can safely create our LUT. To do so, click the Plugin Chain button in the Video Event Effects box. This opens the Plugin Chooser window. Don't do so now, but if you need to preserve this chain of effects, including the vignette, for use elsewhere in this or another project, you can click the Save As button, as you've always been able to do, to save a plugin package. Remember to reactivate your vignette plugin before you save the package. But in this case, since we want a LUT file, click the new Save LUT button. In the Save Plugin Chain as LUT File dialog box, give your LUT a name and click the Save button. This saves your LUT and you can now use it in Vegas or any other software that recognizes a standard cube file. Before we apply the new LUT to another event in your project, let's see how to create a LUT based on the settings in the new color grading panel. To do so, click the color grading button to open the color grading panel. Drag the gamma wheel's thumb to the edge of the wheel in the blue direction to create a very noticeable blue tint. Make adjustments to the color curve and any other adjustments you'd like to experiment with. When you're done with your adjustments, click the Export LUT button under the Finishing tab. Choose a file location and give your new LUT a name. Finally, click the Save button. Click the Color Panel's Exit button to close the panel. Now that you have your custom LUTs, let's apply them to another event in your project. Add another file to your timeline to create a new event. This event currently has no effects or color grading applied to it but we can easily add one of our new custom LUTs to change the look of the video in the event. To do that, click the Video Effects tab if you need to in order to bring it to the front again. In the list of plugins, select LUT Filter. Drag the default thumbnail onto the event you just added. In the Video Event Effects window, click the Browse button and browse to one of your custom LUT files. Select the LUT you want to apply to this event and click the Open button. This applies the LUT to your event, and you can see in the video preview window that the video has immediately taken on the same treatment as the LUT you created earlier.